time around last year to, to now, how, how much further do you feel like you've come as far as defense scheme and just your development as a pro? Uh, you know, a long way. You know, uh, like I tell everybody that acts, man, uh, without OTAs last year, it was rough. It was rough. And, um, you know, having it this year with training camp on top of a whole season, you know, last year, you know, I'm, uh, I only can get better at this defense, at this scheme that we're running. So it's, I definitely came a long way. Coming out of the protocol, you feel perfectly fine now? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm good. Mm -hmm. What worries you most, Willie, really about, one, getting to play your, quote, unquote, first preseason game, but doing it next to a guy like Nick Bolton, and you guys sort of playing together for the first yeah. time? Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm excited, man, you know, because, uh, I mean, for one, I get to play with those guys again. And, um, you know, I, I don't think I played in the game since, what, December when I got hurt or early January. So to be able to get out there again, man, it's a blessing. You know, I'm just thankful to be out there. Well, it looks like when you see something in practice, you're communicating a lot more, getting more vocal on the field. Is that part of being comfortable? Oh, uh, yeah, man. You know, every every year, you know, you get a little bit more comfortable than the, than the last. So uh, especially when you got the same scheme, same play calls, uh, you can only, like I told him, you can only get better at what you're doing. So that's it's helping a lot. Is that a surprise? You know, when you, when you don't know the scheme as well as you want exactly, how is holding you back on the? Oh scheme? yeah. Because you know when, when you're uh, when you're trying to to play a, a position, but at the same time you're thinking about what to do, you can't move as fast. You can't go, you know, hit this gap as fast. You can't make a break on the ball as fast because you got to make sure you're doing everything exactly right. You know, so that's that what comes with, you know, not knowing it well and because you're thinking before you're even acting. So Willie, you asked the coaches year. yesterday about what they were looking for from each position and each player. What for you, what do you want to see in yourself and in your group uh, this preseason game? In myself. You say in myself and in, in, in my group? and your group. What do you want uh, to see? You know, just fly around, you know. Uh, I miss football so much, man. Like, uh, like I told the guys, uh, I haven't played in a long time. So to be out there is, you know, it's, it's perfect for me. So I'm just going to fly around and make plays as much as I can. And same with the group. I just want to see guys just having fun. You know, don't think too much on it. Don't think too much about, you know, not messing up. Just go play ball and have fun. Enjoy the, enjoy the moment. So. Really, uh, off what Sam was asking about, you know, not knowing exactly what you were doing at points last year. Was that something you feel you were close enough where during the play, maybe you didn't do something right and you knew right away, or was it something you were catching in film study later? Um, it just comes with doing it. You know, uh, you can watch film and, and study all day, but until you really in the fire, man, uh, you know, you got to get burned a couple times. Then you learn your lesson, you know. You miss a couple tackles, miss a few assignments. Then you learn, okay, I got to do this next time. I got to do that. But, you know, it just comes with playing more and more. Anthony Hitchens right now as far as um, the communication between you guys and, and ready to go? <clears throat> I'm sorry, man. There's a lot went on. No, just okay. Where do you feel like you are as far as communication goes with Anthony Hitchens and, Hitchens and being on the same page in the middle there? Oh, uh, you know, like I said, every time somebody asks about Hitch, man, he's the leader of this defense. So to, to be able to play with him the second time, you know, in two years, uh, our, our bond has grown even stronger. So, you know, whenever he tells me to do something, you know, I'm doing it right away. You know, whenever we're communicating amongst each other, you know, we, we, we understand each other. We know what to do and, you know, how to do it when working with each other. So, Would you say that that's, like, the number one thing as far as uh, for a young linebacker? Ben Neiman said that communication is the number one thing. Oh, yeah, definitely. Because, you know, if I can communicate, you know, with the older guys, but more importantly, more importantly, if they communicate with me as a younger guy, uh, you know, I know exactly what to do now because, you know, he's been in this scheme a lot longer than I have. So I'm sure he knows my position and he is even better than I do. So. What are your expectations for yourself this season? I'll uh, just be better than I was last season for sure, man. And, you know, uh, just like get better every week, you know, kind of like I said, uh, just be better than last year. Really, you been pretty confident that this, you seem pretty confident in just being a better player at this point than you were last year. I'm wondering if at last year, does your confidence in yourself to play in this league wane at all, or do you just say, hey, as soon as I get the scheme, I, I will get there? Uh, you, you asking about last year? Yeah. Oh, yeah, last year, man, you know, uh, like trying to learn a playbook, man, it's, it takes a toll on you. You know, uh, you, you can't move, you can't play as fast, so you're thinking, and, um, you know, you're like, man, I don't think I'm ready, you know, and, and you know, just this year, I feel like I'm ready, you know. I'm more than ready, actually, so.
I'm gonna make a lot of plays this year. So. You mentioned playing fast, and I know you logged like 200 plus snaps on special teams. How much did your time as a rookie playing on special teams help you learn to react faster? You know, see a ball and, and without thinking, you know how to react. Oh, that just come natural, man. Uh, I just, you know, just from playing football all my life, you know, I see a ball, I'm going to get it. So, yeah. I play the same position, man. I ain't moved nowhere. Uh, Sam spot in the, in the wheel and buck backer. So, yeah, I was the same position. I'm com very comfortable, though. Yes, sir. Are you um, flat? Are you packed? Ready to go? Are you glad for the time you had here, but are you glad to? Oh, yeah, I'm definitely ready to get back to my dog, Sosa. So, Your yeah, dog. yeah. What kind of dog? A Connie Corso. Yeah, you probably don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get like seven of them this year, man. So uh, just, you know, taking advantage of every opportunity that I, that I do have. You know, uh, like last year I would blitz, like I said, with the scheme. Um, maybe I didn't know exactly where to blitz or where to, whether or not to go under the back, over the running back, or, you know, just my angles maybe were off a little bit. So this year I'm, I'm exact and dead on, and I'm going to get a couple of them this year. So. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.